Listen up folks, we're diving into R3 classification today and I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. This is serious business and if you want to keep your cardiovascular system in check, you need to understand what we're dealing with. Let's cut down to the chase. Artery calcification isn't just about calcium. It's a complex pathological process involving multiple components. You have lipids, 30%, calcium phosphate combination, 25%, proteins, 25%, and water, 20%. Each of these plays a crucial role in the development and progression of arterial plaques. And yes, we're going to tackle each one head on. Lipids make up a whopping 30% of these calcified plaques. We're talking cholesterol, triglyceride, phospholipids, and fatty acid. And let me tell you, it's not just about LDL cholesterol, that's outdated thinking. The supplement that's showing real promise in addressing these lipids is Cavadix. It's not a magic pill, but the research is compelling. And if you're serious about your arterial health, this one is to consider. Use as enema twice a day. 25% of the plaque, it's calcium phosphate, primarily as hydroxyapatite crystals. The same stuff that should be in your bones is ending up in your arteries. It's a metabolic disaster, but we're not helpless. Here's your calcium busting stack. Vitamin K2, MK7, 500 micrograms to 45,000 micrograms. Vitamin D3, 10,000 to 20,000 IU. Magnesium ionic chloride, 200 milligrams, 1200 milligrams in small doses. EDTA, up to 1000 milligrams on empty stomach, separate from other supplements in small doses as well. This isn't just throwing supplements at a problem. This is strategic. See, K2, direct calcium to your bones. D3 ensures proper calcium metabolism. Magnesium is crucial for overall mineral balance. And EDTA can help chelate existing calcium deposits. Another 25% is proteins. We're talking collagen, elastin, osteopontin, matrix GLA protein, and bone from a genetic proteins. These form the structural components of the plaque. Now to address this, you do need narokinase 12,000 to 14,000, Fibrin degradation unit, short for FU. Serapeptase, up to 500,000 SPU. Now, these enzymes are pyrolytic powerhouses. They break down fibrin and other proteins that contribute to plaque formation. Don't underestimate their importance in this protocol. And 20% water might not seem significant, but it's crucial for the biochemical reactions occurring within the plaque. While we can directly supplement for water content, Proper hydration is non-negotiable for overall health and the effectiveness of this protocol. The hard truth about implementation, one, diet is foundational. If you're still eating a standard Western diet high in processed foods and refined carbs, no amount of supplements will save you. Sort out your nutrition first. Two, supplement intelligently. Start with lower doses and work your way up monitor your body's response three consistency is key this isn't a quick fix we're talking about reversing years of arterial damage commit to the long haul four get regular assessment calcium scores lipid panels inflammatory markers you need data to know if you're making progress five Work with a knowledgeable healthcare provider. This protocol is potent. You need someone who understands the biochemistry and can monitor your progress. The bottom line, hundreds of people following this protocol have reported significant reductions in their calcium score. But let's be clear, this isn't a guarantee. Your mileage may vary. What works for one person may not work identically for another. This protocol is based on current understanding of cardiovascular biochemistry and emerging research. It's not mainstream yet and you'll likely face skepticism, but for those willing to take charge of their health, it offers a path forward that conventional medicine often overlooks. Most of you already know their calcium score and now you have a powerful protocol to follow. And if you are ready to take control of your arterial health, it's not for the faint of heart. It requires commitment, understanding, 
and a willingness to go against the grain of conventional wisdom. But for those who stick with it, the potential rewards are substantial. This is your cardiovascular health we're talking about. It's time to get serious. Even a drop of 2%, that's a 50% reduction in heart attack.